In our last episode, we woke up at Walmart and stocked up on groceries before hitting the road. We saw an amazing roadside attraction that was a total surprise, which was the middle of the Trans-Canada Highway and Chippewa Falls. We also made a pit stop to get some of the best apple fritters we've ever had and possibly the best apple fritters in Ontario. In this episode, we continue on the road and we make a stop in the town of Wawa and White River. Coming at you with another road trip tip, pay attention to the signs on the side of the road. We just passed a sign that said, this is the last gas station for 150 kilometers. Very, very important because we needed gas before we go for another 150 kilometers. Um, also very weird, uh, this is a full service gas station. Haven't seen one of these in like probably 15 plus years. Um, but I mean, it's nice for us because we don't have to go in the rain. So yeah, we're gassing up and then we are driving. How many kilometers are we driving? 150 oh, kilometers. 150 kilometers to Wawa. So I guess there's no gas stations between here and Wawa. Something like that, yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Our first stop was meant to be Lake Superior Provincial Park where we really wanted to do two different hikes, but things didn't really go according to plan. This is where you get the day pass uh, for all of the hikes here, meaning our plan was actually pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, let's back it up, let's back it up. Lake Superior Provincial Park is massive and the park office is like closer to the top end of the park, but a lot of the hikes that we wanted to do or the lookouts we wanted to do are on the bottom end of the park, which means we would have had to drive all the way up here where we are now to get our day pass and then all the way back down to go to the hikes. Now, the guy did say something about picking up your day, uh, picking up the day passes at some of the, uh, the offices at each of the campgrounds, but they're also pretty close to here. So anyways, like Tia explained, that's what it is. However, you can reserve all your spots online, but again, you have to pick up the actual day pass at one of the uh, locations, such as the Lake Superior Park office. So this changes all our plans. We aren't doing any of the hikes that we plan to do today, which is fine because the weather is not great anyway. And the one pictograph hike that we wanted to do, we probably wouldn't be able to go see the pictographs anyway. So I think we are going to just find somewhere to pull over and make some lunch. And then we're gonna go to Wawa to see the giant goose statue. And then we'll head on our way to Kama Bay. All right, we are here at, I think it's called Old Woman Bay or Old Woman Lookout, something like that. Anyway, we are not doing any hiking because we don't have the day pass. Um, so we're gonna do all of that on the way back, but we are hungry. So we've made a pit stop at this picnic area for lunch. We're not cooking anything fancy today. <laughs> um, we're gonna make some like nice steaks and corn for dinner tonight. So for lunch, we're just doing basic, you know, rice, peppers and some canned fish slash meat. We've finished lunch. Andy has cleaned the dishes, and packed away the rest of the groceries, and we're just packing the van back up to head back out. Literally like 15 minutes. Wah, wah, wah. 
<laughs> we are in the town of Wawa, where amongst other things, you will find a giant goose statue, which is prominently displayed right at the fork as soon as you turn into the city. Do you spy with your eye the giant goose? Gold mines in our community to what it was today. Oh, look at that, that's cool. Okay, we're learning some new stuff. This is cool. Wawa was a mining town and they were mining for gold. And as we go to the goose statue, you can see some plaques and uh, replica mining equipment. Very interesting. Did you find any gold, Andy? No, a lot of rocks. So that's actually pretty cool. This is the last point in, uh, for the Ontario portion of the uh, Highway 1. So over here, I guess, is where it, they finally connected it. And reading, <laughs> reading quickly through this, uh, basically the connection of this allowed a lot quicker travel between Wawa and Sault Ste. Marie. It used to take eight hours and honestly it took us three with a lot of stops. So thank God we have the, uh, the good stretch now. All right, we learned another new thing. The drive between Wawa and Sault Ste. Marie is voted as one of the top nine great drives of Canada, which makes a lot of sense because the whole time we've been driving up here, we keep saying how beautiful it is and we can't believe we're in Ontario. It has been extremely scenic, but Unfortunately, we're at the end of it. So let's see what else we got going on further west. As long as it's not farm fields, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road again. We found a second goose and we're not sure. There's actually a third one down there in case you didn't see it. Oh my God, there's geese everywhere. <laughs> We're driving past a town or driving through a town called White River and on the town sign is Winnie the Pooh and we cannot figure out why they have Winnie the Pooh on the town. Look, there's Winnie the Pooh right there too. So, I'm gonna have to Google when we have connection. Wow, gas is 155.9 here. Yeah. That's thought, expensive. Thank God we filled up like. So we've been, doing really really great at like just filling up and filling up and wow like as the further north you get the more expensive it is 155 is the highest we've seen thus far thank god we have not had to fill up at that but i feel like we won't be able to escape it forever we will probably need to fill up at something ridiculous like that tomorrow Honestly, the things that you like find out while you're just driving around. We kept seeing Winnie the Pooh like on signs and we're like, wait, what, what, what's going on? Well, apparently in Northern Ontario is the birthplace of Winnie the Pooh. So in 1914, an orphaned black bear cub was found near the rail station here in White River and was caught by a trapper and then that, that bear was bought out by a lieutenant in the army and there's like a whole story about, you know, him living with the bear, having the cub, and then eventually he got stationed out in France and could not bring the black bear with him, who was named Winnie, by the way, obviously. After the town of Winnipeg. <laughs> yes, because that is his hometown, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Not the bear, the <laughs> lieutenant. <laughs> and so he gave the bear, he gave Winnie to the London Zoo. And in London Zoo in the 1920s, that's when Christopher Robin Milne came across 
Winnie. Uh, and he started calling the bear Winnie the Pooh and he would frequent the zoo often with his father, A.A. Milne, to go see Winnie the Pooh and eventually his father created Winnie the Pooh and it wasn't actually until the 1960s that Disney bought out the copyright to Winnie the Pooh. It is pretty cool. Very cool. <laughs> Like, I, I knew the part about Disney buying them out and then the Christopher Robin and the dad thing. Did not about, know about any of this. And suddenly, Thousand Acre Woods makes a lot of sense. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> yes it does. Anyway, this is the birthplace of Winnie the Pooh in White River, Ontario. Passing through Terrace Bay and okay, driving through Northern Ontario, one thing that you have to have to have to be careful of is your fuel level. We have a jerry can with us with 20 liters in gas and uh, that is completely full as like a safety. But even going through Terrace Bay in the middle of kind of like hot tourist season, they still uh, warn you about potentially running out of gas because there is limited service. So. Fill up whenever you can is my best advice. We also can't really see where we're driving right now. This is our current view. Who here likes scary movies? <laughs> The original plan tonight was steak, but we rolled in super late. It's already nine o'clock. So uh, yeah, Tia is trying to get me to fix my hair, but this is van life realities. You're not always gonna be, you know, like looking your tops and a lot of the t uh, and your food may not always be the most fancy. Today is literally cheese, meat and bread again. I will probably have some peanut butter. And also, by the way, our sleeping spot today is pretty tilted, um, but it's gonna be fine. We sat there, you and I. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're.